if you're familiar with the Snow White and uh, Seven Dwarfs, the original uh, fable, the uh, tale by the Brothers Grimm, uh, written uh, a long time ago, and then you know that the uh, Walt Disney uh, Company uh, they uh, started making animated movies, and then before you know Disney Channel and Disney XD cartoons that uh, were a thing, and uh, also Disney live action and uh, movies and live action remakes uh, were even existing. The original Seven uh, uh, Snow White and Seven Dwarves, uh, you know, some Snow White meaning white as snow. It's a, a, a young girl who is like basically Caucasian, you call them uh, Caucasian in general, but people just call uh, light-skinned people white because they they can't uh, even uh, tell the difference or like even, uh, and then they call African-Americans uh, black people, which is not even uh, accurate unless that, you know, but that's a different thing we're talking. And then, No One and Seven Dwarves uh, by the Di well, Disney Company, which is more uh, family friendly, which uh, you don't see any gruesome things. Made in like the 1930s, uh, back when uh, Walt Disney and uh, his uh, brother uh, Roy did, did the, uh, who founded the company together uh, were still alive. That was the, the favorite classic of a lot of people. And then the live action uh, version of uh, the Love uh, movie and also a tale. There was this thing called uh, Snow White and uh, the, the Huntsman. Now, which this is completely different, but of course, uh, it's basically uh, Snow White uh, again by the phrase of how uh, she, the, how her skin color is and. Uh, that's like a different situation where there are the lives are thrown around and then uh, Snow White's uh, father, father gets lied to and then uh, she runs away and uh, she uh, ends up uh, meeting the huntsman and basically fighting against the evil queen. Which uh, Kristen Stewart, uh, you know her from uh, Twilight Saga and then Char Charlie's Angels. Not the one with Cardi B. But the one with uh, Ella Balinska and uh, Naomi Scott. The one produced by El Elizabeth Banks. And that version had uh, also uh, Chris Hemsworth plays one of the Huntsman, and then Charlize their own African uh, actress uh, plays the evil witch, uh, and then that one also has a second movie, Winter's War, also, uh, and Walt received the uh, catch that this thing is a bit different, but of course Kristen and Charlize and uh, is still on the movie ca cast. Second live action one, Mirror Mirror, Lily Collins, she's uh, also uh, starred in like, a movie uh, alongside uh, Taylor Lautner who has uh, worked with uh, Kristen Stewart, if you know, you know. 
part of the Twilight Saga movie. So that version of was also well received. Third live action one, which is a sort of like a Magic Tales uh, kind of series, uh, which one of them uh, is uh, Once Upon a Time, Snow White, Jennifer Goodwin plays Snow White. People like that one. A lot of people have mentioned that one. And a lot of other people also are familiar with Snow White and the Huntsman. Even over Mirror Mirror. And then the fourth one, the train wreck. Starring uh, Latina actress uh, Rachel Zegler. Miss Weird 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 who uh, her Snow White is basically just a name uh, Snow White and uh, basically that version is uh, basically she is acting like a uh, leader but um, not like uh, the Kristen Stewart one and uh, Rachel Zegler, as you know, she uh, literally uh, trashed the movie and uh, trashed the, the actor playing uh, the prince, call, calling the prince a uh, uh, stalker. And uh, Gal Gadot, the uh, Israeli uh, actress, uh, she was uh, just going along with that and And of course, uh, people were uh, they were like asking, "Why would you want to start in a movie where uh, you don't like uh, the original story of the Snow White, and uh, you just want to try to rewrite it and destroy it and try to make it your own, but awful?" And uh, and Rachel Zegler, known for West Side Story. The, not the original, original one, uh, which uh, the youngest uh, Hemsworth brother, uh, Luke Hemsworth, uh, was in. And she was also in uh, Shazam. Not the first one, but one of the ones after. And also because uh, she was picked because she can sing. And while there are all the, the other live action uh, re race swapping ones, uh, situation, uh, you will not also notice that people people like the people who did uh, Tinkerbell, that actress, uh, she never uh, trashed the uh, Tinkerbell character. And also uh, Ariel. It, you wouldn't have noticed that Holly Bailey, sister of pop singer Chloe Bailey, she didn't trash Ariel. She just uh, said um, it's just a representation for uh, us uh, African American uh, girls who wanted uh, to see uh, us. Although uh, Holly Bailey would have been uh, perfect for uh, Tiana if uh, the Princess and the Frog. That movie, uh, all she needed to do was, uh, you know, culinary skills, uh, if she does. And regarding that, the R Rachel Zegler, uh, Snow White, and, uh, has been bumped. 
So it's coming back. It it was uh, shelved and uh, and then it was uh, set to release on 2024. But they decided to bump it to 2025, the exact same, uh, you know, two years later than uh, the supposed uh, release that they were doing. And of course, uh, you would have probably uh, assumed that the people from uh, creators of uh, South Park would have been uh, mocked uh, Rachel Zegler's uh, and uh, Gal Gadot's uh, take on uh, the fourth version of uh, the live action remake of uh, Snow White uh, The Seven uh, Dwarves. And while uh, the U.S. Uh, Rep Republican Party uh, supporting uh, t political talk show uh, people, you know, the Daily Wire, consisting of uh, Jeremy Boring, uh, Ben Shapiro, uh, Matt Walsh, uh, Mike, Michael Knowles, and Kansas uh, Owens, and Brett uh, Cooper, which uh, Brett Cooper, she's uh, playing the Daily uh, Wire's uh, own version of Snow White, uh, which they're calling it their version, Snow White and the Evil Queen, which uh, Vancouver, uh, she had been in uh, for just one uh, production. Uh, and they're sharing it on uh, the Daily Wire. Uh, this is... Uh, Benke uh, Entertainment, uh, which uh, famously known for uh, ripping off uh, uh, Bluey, and a couple other, a lot of Disney shows uh, from uh, Disney Channel, Disney XD, and uh, also Nickelodeon, the PBS Kids, and Cartoon Network. And while uh, people are uh, claiming that uh, the Daily Wire uh, was pressured uh, the Disney Company to push uh, the fourth live action uh, version of the Snow White uh, and the Seven Dwarves, uh, the Daily Wire isn't even famous enough to uh, get recognized. Uh, to even pressure uh, a really major company like, uh, like the Walt Disney Company, which the only real company that would, they would even care about was, is basically Nickelodeon. Disney's uh, main competitor as uh, Nickelodeon and uh, Disney uh, shows that have always uh, poke fun at each other in some form of way as that uh, there have been uh, directors uh, and uh, writers, producers and even actors and actresses uh, who have been on uh, both uh, network uh, TV shows and uh, movies and they just purposely threw around uh, some key hints uh, or terms that people who have uh, watched uh, both Nickelodeon or Disney media and they were recommend oh they're making fun of uh, each other but also uh, Netflix can't even catch up either even with their Netflix uh, versus uh, Disney plus as there is also Amazon Prime and Hulu and Paramount Plus. It's Paramount uh, Plus is uh, some stuff that uh, is tied to uh, Nickelodeon. Because uh, Paramount Plus, uh, 
they had the uh, the adult uh, I Carly, which uh, that's I Carly uh, older characters, and also they're also uh, doing a uh, Zoe one oh one, but Zoe one oh two, which most of the main cast comes back. Uh, Jamie Lynn Spears as, uh, of course, uh, the main character. But there's a lot of relationship drama focused. Uh, I'm going to outdo iCarly. But regarding uh, the Snow White situation, uh, why he'd even uh, make something that it basically. It's not even exactly to the original story, and then there's this uh, trying to uh, race swap, and then there's also uh, character swapping. Uh, because Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right? But six out of uh, seven uh, dwarves, which uh, they decide to be magical creatures, six regular. Uh, Average size uh, men, one uh, dwarf. Which there are other people uh, who could have uh, actually filled uh, the spot for uh, uh, actual dwarves. Uh. And uh, not just uh, P Peter Dinklage, but there was also some other dwarf uh, actors uh, who have uh, who would have loved to uh, come forward and also. fill in the position for one of the seven dwarfs so actually it would sort of even if it wasn't exactly like the, how people would expect and it wouldn't be as good as uh, Beauty and the Beast uh, live action uh, remake uh, starring uh, Emma Watson because uh, Disney Company, uh, they did uh, that uh, one uh, very perfectly. There was no issues uh, or race swapping or... They tried to do it uh, very uh, close and uh, no one had any issues. Uh, with even like the actors or actresses or how uh, things were laid out. And... Seven... Dwarfs. Seriously. Pick seven random dwarf actors to fill in the position. Even uh, some uh, people like the comedian uh, Brad Williams, although he spews a lot of profanity and uh, recently there has been a lot of uh, focus on inclusion, uh, whether it's uh, race, uh, supporting uh, like more uh, African Americans or more uh, Latinos and Latinas uh, and then they had some Asians uh, here and there there has been no uh, Native Americans or not that yet because there has been, been a big uh, issue and uh, people were uh, up in arms about that situation which we do not want that and uh, especially with uh, Canada the USA having some bad history of how the natives uh, were treated and we have seen a lot of clips uh, comparing uh, Kristen Stewart versus Rachel uh, Zegler and how uh, Kristen Stewart uh, portrays uh, Snow White versus how uh, Rachel Zegler portrays Snow White. So, since they have, like, just all over a year, 2023 is uh, almost the ending. We just have uh, November, which is coming up, and also December. They have, like, a month few months and uh, a year, an entire year, 
and surely they do have a budget to just replace Rachel Zeglin with someone else who actually does want to commit to acting because uh, Rachel Zegler, you saw how uh, she was acting at the SAG AFTRA uh, protest, right? And she was uh, wearing like a Halloween costume uh, of uh, Snow White. She was, she was like out like for 18 hours and like for every single hour I need to be paid uh, for this. And she was acting like she was oppressed. Uh, but uh, there are people who actually... Uh, Who actually do want to take the position uh, or could do Snow White better and uh, not, be not because uh, their uh, their race is like different or anything uh, but even if it was like another uh, African uh, American actress uh, who were doing it or an Asian actress uh, doing it or just for example but just even for just with another actress uh, who did it, and they actually wanted to stick to the script, and uh, even if the name Snow White was uh, focus uh, on that, uh, and they didn't want uh, tarnish, and of course uh, Snow White, uh, sure, but the original Snow White is like vulnerable, right? Uh, she was very caring, and she wanted to help the. Uh, Dwarves, so that could have been a great focus for that. That's one. Even if it was like a different race, although preferably like uh, a Caucasian actress would be a great uh, just to stick to the original script. And uh, of course, not issue number two. No and then the seven dwarfs. Yep, just to uh, get rid of every uh, other uh, actor and uh, the six actors who are not dwarfs, and then hire uh, actors uh, who are actual uh, dwarf actors or the offensive word as uh, some people have called it, uh, midget. So dwarf actors, um, then a great chance, great opportunity for just put them in. Uh, even if you're not uh, familiar with uh, their names, uh, this is a big chance to for to make them famous. Uh, sure, we've had uh, Peter Dinklage uh, have, who has had his opportunity, and although uh, he does make a great point, uh, he didn't need to be cast in or anything, but. Uh, he did say that if you want to, if it's a movie about uh, that also has a, a dwarf role, if you want to make a live action version of it, uh, put some actual dwarf actors in it. You know, it kind of makes sense, you know? And then just leave the prince alone. Because if you're an elite actor, actor or actress, and then you. Uh, and then the person is uh, playing alongside you and then uh, you uh, on purpose trash that actor or actress, uh, yeah, you don't belong. And also, yeah, regarding uh, Rachel Dangler, yeah, she's also in uh, the Hunger Games uh, prequel, uh, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Yeah, she's uh, playing the lead actress uh, or whatever character that is, uh, she is the anti Katniss Aberdeen. Jennifer Lawrence would not like that. Liam Hemsworth would not like that, and just about any other people who were uh, who were in the original Hunger Games movie, the uh, based off the original book by Susan Collins, yeah, they would not like that.
because she's uh, just doing it for the money. But there's a Latina actress. Uh, if you ever heard of Salma Hayek, she actually uh, wanted to do acting because uh, she just wanted to be part of it. She wanted to because she loved acting. Not because uh, she wanted to do the money like Rachel Zegler. Oh, I just want to make money uh, because uh, unlike uh, Salma Hayek, who like actually wanted to be in part of the big picture, and also uh, she's also uh, actress and also screenplay writer. So she's also a producer of her own stuff. And also was in a Disney Eternals uh, movie, uh, which uh, with that was not well received. But she had a uh, very humble mindset, and uh, seriously, Rachel Zegler could literally just hit her up. Ra Rachel Zegler, message Salma Hayek on acting advice, because. She's been in the industry for a way longer than her and uh, and Salma Hayek. She has understood about uh, she has uh, been a minority, just like uh, Rachel Zegler being a minority, and she's a Latina, just like her. So if you could learn from each other. Uh, how to uh, be better in the industry and uh, you can learn from tips how can I be a better actress uh, if I want to make my own uh, movies am I doing things well do you have any suggestions and then you can get connected even more and something like that but no Little Miss Problematic, uh, she's so uh, stuck up in her head that, uh, and think that everything should go her way, and that uh, basically she's a pro feminist, uh, and uh, which originally feminists were not acting this way, but unfortunately, this new generation they are starting with the uh, Gen Z, not all Gen Z, but some of them and then uh, new millennial people that are becoming very problematic uh, and entitled and uh, they would rather pick fights with each other and, uh, instead of uh, trying to pro solve the problems and that uh, they think uh, they should just also they have problems in the history and uh, they uh, they don't like this so they think they should just scrap it and destroy it and make it their own way and Disrespect the people who have made their own uh, craft and or even learn from it And if you wanted to make your own thing uh, Yeah, don't include the title of a uh, uh, well beloved uh, Character name or If you don't like acting you just want to do acting for uh, or profession for uh, money you shouldn't be even be in acting or doing that profession. You should just leave and find something else to uh, do uh, that uh, actually you might enjoy. And Rachel Zegler should really take that advice. And also the producers of that uh, Disney fourth uh, remake of uh, the beloved uh, Fable. They should just kick her, uh, kick her out, kick out the six uh, regular side uh, men, and uh, replace them with the uh, people who actually want to uh, do it for an actual movie, who actually want to, and they actually fit the description. No offense, but if you want to do it, you should.